Hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing the long-awaited uh, 2000 Forerunner HID retrofit installation. Um, so please stick around uh, and check out the video and I'll see you there. Alright everybody, so uh, quick video, a uh, little update on the Forerunner headlight build um the only thing it wasn't installed right uh, at the moment yesterday was a long day spent 22 or so 23 or something hours doing the entire build so the only thing it wasn't put on was the european um headlight wings protective guards um which the bolts are over here in the tray and i'll put them on probably today um but I'll give you guys some information I'll take you outside uh, so I got the headlights installed um, I apologize I ended up not recording most of the wiring um, I don't think I actually recorded any of the wiring it was just way too long of a day I was extremely tired I was I was getting irritated and just frustrated because things weren't going very well and I decided not to record the wiring the wiring took to get everything routed and um, put in a, a, a good place and secured and um, I had to rewire the the lights on my ram guard and then I ended up having to um, do some other wiring i ended up wiring the 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 front 80 millimeter halo that white halo right there on both sides i ended up wiring them to the blinkers so they're actually wired to the trigger side of the blinker so when the blinkers flash those turn um, amber and start flashing um, i ended up having an issue with the bluetooth module when i leave it uh, plugged on onto the battery for some reason um, even though I went to the, the actual app on my phone and turned all the halos and the demon eyes and everything off for some reason, um, when you, you can have the demon eyes on pure white and when you turn all the light, the, the halos and the demon's eyes off, what happens is they all turn off, but for some reason the demon eyes glow. They still have this, um, this slight hue to them just enough that in the dark you can actually see that they're on they're not fully powered but they're they're glowing this dark deep red and that bothers me because it's pulling power from my battery so i actually unplugged it and i will do a uh, wiring video hopefully soon where i'm going to actually tap into um an ignition source whether it's the actual ignition fuse or um, something else where, where it will only turn on when the truck is on um, so it's, it's nice to have the feature where you can do it while the trucks off and everything else but um, called a couple sources and found out that there's some kind of resistance problem with the demon eyes I have and the only way to fix it would be to remove the demon eyes and I don't want to have to remove them and put them back in so I'm just gonna deal with it for now until I can figure out if I can get some warranty on this stuff um, but I didn't put the wings on so this is what it looks like without the headlight guards this is just the headlights and the ram guard um, they look really nice. I also put on um, blacked out corners. Um, there's white bulbs in here. I got the box and everything fitted. Everything's wired up. I ran the wires down this channel right here. For the halos and the demon eyes and everything. The power wire runs up here. I need to fix this and make it a little neater. You can see the wires are kind of jumbled. And then 
Um, here's the main harness. And then back here is the the Bluetooth modules and the the demon eyes and everything for the driver's side is back here and then the passenger side is right next to the battery. Um, everything seems to be working well. I haven't had any issues. Uh, and just do a little update video. Go under here. And here's the, the new wiring. This is the igniter for the fogs. And then here's the new wiring that I tapped into the, the actual turn signal switch. Um, it's like that on both sides. Um, so I apologize I didn't get the recording that I wanted for the wiring, but the wiring just took too long. I didn't get much sleep and, and that was the reason it took so long was I was extremely tired. Um, I think I only got two hours of sleep and then I was working on the truck for almost 23 hours. Um, and I, I walked, worked on it throughout the night. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. It, the wiring's pretty simple. It's not hard to do. Um, there's tags on the wiring for the HIDs, you know, it'll tell you if it's a bi-axion bulb, it'll, it'll have the, the high beam wire, it'll have the main ballast wire, the igniter wire, and everything else. It's, it's pretty simple. It's not difficult at all. And I figured it would just be easier for me to get it done and then, you know, just explain it to you guys and hopefully you guys understand. Um, just been really busy i needed the truck for the next day you know i had to go to the bank you know i had to go pick up parts and some other stuff um so i i really i had to get it done and it, the video you know most most of the youtube community and most of the actual creators they they totally understand you know a, a 30 minute video takes four or five hours you know it's, it's not something as simple as you know a short video you know i could do a 10 minute video and it takes an hour and a half you know just to edit it and everything else and then it takes another hour to upload it to youtube because youtube is so slow but i figured i'd show you the progress i i haven't reset my stereo or anything because i had to take the battery out but um here's the old headlights over here on the chair you can see this one has a huge shatter mark is their glass but uh things happen these are the morimoto um leds that i've been using for a while they work really well um they only have i think 40 or 50 hours on them uh so i might be putting those up for sale i'll clean them up and everything uh thank you guys for watching um and uh please like comment subscribe hit the bell notification icon and you know check out the my amazon affiliate links and i'll see you guys on the next one